hello everybody welcome to our new video this is a brand new video we're going to show you how to fix a simple error in php my admin when you're designing a database and you get into this error it's a very simple error but it's normally caused by uh sometimes not checking up stuff uh to when you're developing your database okay we're gonna jump into that i hope everything is fine with your php my admin and uh, you created already a database because I have a video already how to create a database, how to create a table, how to query that. But now we're gonna fix a simple error which we're going to show you in this video. So please, if you're using Kali Linux, um, using Kali Linux, but that error doesn't specifically uh, uh, give you trouble when in Kali Linux only, so it can give you trouble in PHP. Uh, in what in Windows and any other operating system as long as you're using uh, PHP my admin so what I'm gonna do uh, <clears throat> I'm gonna open my terminal be sudo if you know sudo then you go and uh, do what type in uh, service uh, service Apache start Start. what does this do it helps you to start your apache server uh, by running that command if you don't run it in and you cut linux it will never work let's test that we're gonna say service 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 uh, apache apache, apache two we're gonna stop it ne? then i want to show you why we have to start it and also we say service we're gonna stop two services uh my sql stop okay we're gonna stop all those services so once we stop them uh we're gonna go to our browser and we try to start uh, we start to go to localhost Type in local host and uh, say forward slash php my admin. Okay, you hit enter and you can see php my admin tells you that unable to connect. Uh, Firefox can't establish connection to the server at local. At local, so that means local host. So it means uh you haven't started the services so the only way this can work is to start the services so we have to start two services mysql and also apache 2. so, uh, so once you start those services then that error is not going is going to disappear so what you're gonna do you're gonna say service uh apache to start and say enter when you start enter that is in service apache no my sql my is my sql uh, start then you say enter once you enter that once you see this uh second line just know that all oh, your stuff is working well so what you're gonna do then you hit enter here you can see now it's working but if you don't do that you're gonna see that the services are what are stopped and uh, it won't give you this page so uh, without wasting any time there is a database I've created already and uh, there are tables in that database we're gonna use the database called myfacedb uh, when we click there we're gonna click on mysql then uh, we're gonna type in the the command to see our uh, what our uh, okay first of all let's go to structure and uh, we go to we should click here click on this table first table okay uh say browse when you browse this is what you have to see say class a class b so you want to select all oh, these one of these two so what we do we can click here and we say select uh we're gonna select this first name which is gonna be first name and uh we're gonna do like uh we we're going to select the first name and uh 
we say where uh, id equals to one because id is an uh, integer so we don't need to put it in a quote quotes like uh, if it was a string we're gonna we're gonna put it here like this uh, but now since it's an integer we don't need that so what we do is we're gonna put it like that and we say enter and we don't say enter we click on go and that's where we're gonna see this error which says i guess you see the error down here it says you have an error in your sql syntax check the manual that corresponds to your mariadb server version for the right syntax to use near where is uh you get me uh one at line one so they say we have a problem here at line one what's the problem the problem is so simple uh the reason why we have this is we we have to reconstruct the the query well we say select uh -huh, the select is right no problem uh select uh, okay let me go to our query back then we see what could be the problem look analyze this query then we're gonna know why we're getting that problem we're doing it deliberately to show you that the error is being triggered because of the this major reason so it could be triggered by something else but now the reason why it's being triggered we're gonna follow step by step to see that the first query does not look like the second query so that's where the problem is let's say uh, select uh, it doesn't mean it's necessarily mean you can make it capital or small caps it doesn't matter so say first say select first name name then we are gonna say uh we the reason why is this we're gonna say we gonna we have to select the table so we didn't select the table we have to say from uh then the table is called classes then we say where oh and uh, there are two things which are happening instead of saying id i said where is one you get me where id you got to say id uh equals to one okay let's run our query and we see if the problem is fixed uh you can see the problem is fixed but now there were there are two things you have to learn so the first query was like this the wrong one was the, there was no class this obviously it won't work there was no from that won't work but also we noticed that it had is there so does it give us the same error code uh, let's try to do yeah 1064 1064 same error code so here if you get that simply means you selected okay this we're gonna make it is and uh, we see if it give us the same error code uh, 1064 yes the same uh, but then what if we put from here from uh, classes okay then we say enter and we see if it does work <laughs> You can see it give us the same error code. It simply means this error uh, 1064. It comes when there's something you've missed or mistyped. So this gonna be ID. We're gonna call the ID ID and uh, ID. Remember I told you it's an int, so we don't need to put it in a quote. But even if you put in a quote, it's gonna work. But it's gonna be a wrong way to do things because you wanna treat an integer as a string. Let's try to test it as quote in quotes. Uh, let me go there. Okay, guys, we fixed that, but uh, we want to do some things. You know, when you, you're coding or doing databases, you have to test a lot of things and say, if I do this, what happened? And if I do this, what happened? So I'm putting them in a quote, and I told you it's going to work, but it's a wrong way to do it. Why? You're treating this as a string, you're not treating it as an integer. So anyway, it works anyhow. But uh, the right way to do things is to treat each data type as it has to be. For instance, if I do this and I say where name equals class B. Let me say class B. Class B. 
if I say class B and uh, uh, not gonna be first name okay where first name equals to class B so if I do that I'm gonna copy that and uh, you can see I get the error which means I did not put I get also different error which means I did not put the the quotes so once I put the quotes I'll never see that error again so I'm gonna do that and I copy and I start that you can see it worked well so that's why I'm saying this is a string uh, I can put a whatever but now an integer even if you put a string uh, the quotes it will work even if you don't put the quotes it's gonna work but uh, you can see on the screen there's no way you cannot put an uh, those quotes that's what I'm trying to show you that you don't have to do things in a wrong way thanks guys for watching see you in the next video